So we got the new AMD Fusion APU here. Uh, it's actually hiding under there. It's the size of a dime, and uh, it mixes a dual core, core processor with a graphics processor. Anyway, this is the very first uh, demo, and uh, it'll change uh, the future of laptops. So. so what lies under here is this chip right here. Um, this is the new AMD Fusion APU. As you can see, it's the size of a dime. Now you can see the um, Intel Core i5, 2.4 gigahertz, running the Amazon shell, which is much slower than the AMD Fusion APU that's announced today here. Now let's go compare it with the AMD Fusion. So we got the prototype of AMD's latest Fusion APU which mixes the dual core processor and the graphics card. And uh, you saw the demo of the i5 and you'll see that it's much faster on the uh, AMD Fusion. So will be coming soon. That experience. Now you're welcome to, as long as you don't kick the CPU fan off, you know, you're welcome to touch the heat sink on here. Just touch, touch the edge here, just to dissipate. Yeah, do what he said, <laughs> and then you can touch the heat sink, make sure you dissipate. So, you've got discrete level GPU, DirectX 11, multi-core x86, in this case dual core Bobcat, you've got a new generation or a unified video decoder with a new type of uh, high speed bus, new type of memory controller, all done on the die. And this is the little guy. This is the 18 watts of Kate in this bottom one. Competing against Intel's high end of their um, mainstream to mainstream performance stack today, Core i5. Of course, Core i5 is what Intel has in market today. It's their integrated graphics processor in a package with their CPU. Obviously, Sandy Bridge um, goes to an on die implementation, but the GPU IP blocks are obviously very similar in Sandy Bridge. It's just accelerating it. Whereas this is utilizing the, the technology that's in our DirectX 11 GPUs. Of course, this is a 5870. Um, but you know, we built worldwide number one market share of the street GPU market.